Hello and welcome to Firebase and React, the simple tutorial how to get your React app to talk to Firebase. Bare bones, very simple, step by step. We'll do the whole thing right now. Uh, this is a little toy app, current high score, reading from a database. Let's input a new one. Cool, let's reload. Are we really getting the right answer? Okay. Uh, this is it. We've got a high score. Current score is six. Let's put it to one. Boom. Now it's one. So you can see a little React app talking to Firebase. That's what we're going to do right now. Let's get into it. Like I said, every step, we will start now. Get out of your current app, whatever you're doing. Let's go uh, into my videos. Now I'm going to do we're going to start with creating a React app, and we're going to use MPX create React app. <laughs> create React app. Let's call it Firebase. Hit enter. While that is running, let's create a new project in Firebase. So go to your Firebase console. Let's create a new project. Let's call this React front end uh, delete me. Continue. I'm going to turn off analytics. Create project. All right, hit continue. <clears throat> so we've got a project now that we can associate with a web app. So let's create a web app in this project. Let's call it React Front End. Register the app. And we will come back. But let's not forget right now, uh, let's install our Firebase. Uh, we'll do that later. Hold on. Uh, we'll uh, use. We'll come back for this config info for our React front end. So remember, this is here. But let's go to our console and let's go to Firestore. Let's click the Firestore button because we're going to create a database. And let's create a database and just yeah, go with the default location we're going to go in test mode now we're going to have a collection we'll call it high score and that will have a document of current and then the field will be the score we'll make it a number let's make it two for now save so now you see we've got a high score current score is two this is the document uh, collection document field pattern of Firebase. And now we're done with with Firebase. Let's let's do a touch on rules. I don't understand all the rules fully. There's way more we could get into it, but uh, we're gonna copy the rules I have over here, and I'll explain them. So uh, we are going to. It's gonna say match any any database that is the API request is sent. And within that, we're going to match high score current. OK, so we're only going to write rules for they're asking for the high score. They're asking for current. We will allow read if true. So we're going to allow anyone to read high score current. And then allow, allow write. We're only going to allow write for specific uh, criteria. We're going to say if the request resource data, so they, this means whatever API call is pinging the database, um, if the score component is a number, then OK. Also, though, and we need the request resource data keys. This means anything, so score and any other fields that we're trying to write to within high score current. Uh, we're only, we're going to say, get all the keys that the, the API call, get all the keys that this person wants to write to. And only, can it can only have score. So basically, only write to score if it's a number, if it's in the current high score. So this way, uh, I'm OK with anyone getting the keys and writing writing to this database because they can't do any damage. It's They're just going to rewrite my high score. Who cares? So let's just copy that over. I think I copied the extra semicolon. Publish. This should have no errors. OK. So that's in my React front end. Delete me. Um, we got our new app, which is not running because we're back in the terminal now. 
So let's go into Firebase, our new npm, our new npx create React app that we made. Let's also do install Firebase because we're going to need that. We've installed Firebase, and now we can start the default React app, npm start, that comes with uh, npx classic. Okay, now let's open open this app, this new app that we've made in your favorite code editor. I will use VS Code. Okay, I have opened uh, that Firebase, npx create React app Firebase project in VS Code. And this is the blank app JS that comes with VS Code pictured here. Or not VS Code, that comes with npx create React app. So now what we wanna do is let's just get rid of all the stock stuff and let's create a high score component that we will create that will house all of our stuff. So import high score from high score, self tag it, closing tag it here. So that's our high score component. Let's go create that component. So we're gonna go new file, call it highscore.js. And now we're done with the default app. We're done with the app.js. We'll do it all in high score now. Almost all of it in high score. All right, so the first thing we want to do is let's uh, let's read the current high score. Uh, first thing is we're creating our high score, high score component. Uh, I'm just doing a, a function component, export default high score. Let's display a high score. So let's say... Do, 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 do. Let's create a, a return and our wrapper div. Uh, let's give it a header and let's say current high score. And we're gonna give it a placeholder. We're gonna call it current high score. Right now that's nothing. So let's define that. Call it current high score, set current high score. We're going to use use state. So it's going to initialize with a state of zero. So this will initialize as a zero. So the screen will read current high score, zero. Uh, in order to use that function, we must import it, the use state. So let's do use state. Let's also use use effect. We know we're going to use that from React. Okay. Right now, current high score is zero. That's what we expect to see. Now let's actually go get the real high score from Firebase, the real current high score, which will be two. So when we see a two, we will know we have read correctly, or so we think. All right, so let's say, we're gonna create a whole other file for our, um, let's call it get high score from, let's call it a uh, Firebase Firestore will be our component that will house our code that will talk to the database. So let's create a new file, call it Firebase, firestore.js. Important thing is our config. So we go our database here. Let's go to project settings. And over here on the right, we get our configuration. Copy this throw it into your Firebase Firestore file. Now we've got it. Now we can call, uh, we can initialize the app, but we have to get some boilerplate first. Boilerplate is uh, initialize app from Firebase app. And then we're gonna use get Firestore doc collection set doc, get doc update doc from Firebase Firestore. So first thing is uh, let's initialize our app. So initialize app with our Firebase config file or data object right there. Uh, then let's create our database. It's going to get get Firestore app. So now we've initialized the app. Then our, we get our database. Now that we've got the database, let's create our um, get high score function. And it's going to be async. And it's going to return uh, 
Uh, let's wait for that. So get high score, async. Uh, well, before we forget, let's export it. So now our high score component will be able to call get high score. And the get high score is going to call the database. So it's, it's going to let's create a doc ref first. We're going to ask for the high score database and then the current document from that database. And uh, we do that by saying await get doc on our doc ref. Now, so we've got our doc ref, which is current high score. We pass that into get doc, await the results, we'll call the result of that doc snap. And what that is, is we'll do return doc snap dot data score element. Because as you remember, the database is current, it's high score, current, score. So high score, current, that'll be returned in the data, and then we'll get the score field. And we will turn that when someone calls our get high score. No error checking here. We know it's going to work. So now how do we get this high score? Let's do a use effect. Every time this component loads, we will call this function. Boilerplate use effect right here. Now we can do, let's call it get data. Just get data. Let's define get data. Okay, get data is an async function. Wait, equals async. Async function. And we're going to get a result. And we're going to await the result of get high score. And then once we get that result, we will set our current high score to the result. So now when we save all this, we go to React app, doc scap, doc scap. That was in Firebase Firestore. And doc snap.data. Current high score two. Okay, great. So we uh, correctly read from the database. And what you'd like to do also is write to the database. But this is pretty cool. Just to prove it to you, let's edit this to a 35 okay so now we go to our front end reload and we get the new high score excellent so now how do we update it from the app let's go back to our firebase firestore and we're going to create a upload function called upload high score and we will do define it upload high score this will be another async function, and we will receive a new score, and we will send it to Firebase. And how we will do that is, again, we will build our doc ref of uh, which database we're talking to, talking to. So our database reference, we will say, talk to the high score, and then talk to the current document within high score and now we will again let's wait a result so await uh, this time it's going to be update doc give it our doc ref and a shape of score parse int new score so now we're going to update the doc update doc that's the firebase language right there and we're going to do it at the doc reference which is the current high score 
and we're going to pass it an object which with a field of score. It's an integer. It'll be the new score that gets passed into this. So wherever we call the update high score function from, we'll pass it the score, and that'll go. That'll get thrown up into Firebase. And you're giving me oh whatever. I don't even know what you're giving me. Okay, and then let's uh, let's just return new score back. Okay, get rid of that little semicolon ha hanging after the new score. And now, yeah. So we can write, so let's go back to high score and let's create an input to write our new score. So let's create a form and on submit, Let's do handle form submission. Let's give it an input, give it a little style just to control the width. Actually, screw that, who cares about the style? Uh, input type number ID so that the input is a number input. Uh, it'll be called new score. The placeholder will be a zero. And our input there. Now let's create a button. Uh, type submit. And does it matter if it's capital? I have no idea. And Call it and we'll, the button will say submit, or let's just say add new score. Uh, let's create handle form submission function. Async, receive the submission event, and let's just do prevent default so that the page does not reload. So we've got our add new score and our input. But nothing happens right now because this handle form submission, all it does is prevent page reloads. So uh, now we're going to do, let's wait result of uploading. Do we, we didn't do it yet. Let's import our upload high score from Firebase, Firestore file. So we're going to await the result of upload high score on our event target new score value. So this is the event, the submission event has a target new score, which is the input and the value. So uh, we get the value of what was input and that will go to Firebase. And then we're gonna assume everything went all hunky dory and we're going to set our current high score to that event target dot new score dot value. Just assume everything went all right, because it probably did. So now we can empty cache, hard reload, and let's give it a new score of three. Okay. Did it go to the front? Did it go to the... It did. So empty it. Look at that. Reading from Firebase. Let's go... Eight, boom, empty cache, hard reload, still getting eight, and eight, you see it right there in the database. So that's it. You are now reading and writing to your React, or your, to your Firebase Firestore database. You have rules that are not uh, terrible to keep up, but definitely you gotta go back and Make sure you're using some kind of authentication if you want, or just keep your rules really locked down so that people can't put arbitrary data into your database. But here we go. This is just the first step. Thank you so much for making it this far. I appreciate you being here. Thank you.